I think there's also something related to responsibility here as well. I agree with everything you said. I think you're you're absolutely right. And also, I think there's a little bit of an avoidance. Like, I'm looking at my own life and going, the times when I don't trust myself are also the times that I don't want to take responsibility for myself either. Because we went skydiving recently, tandem skydiving, Mm -hmm. where I had to like click on a dude was on my back and he had a parachute on his. I had to implicitly and explicitly (laughs) trust this guy that he knew what he was doing when we're falling out of an airplane at two miles up, 10,000 feet, that he's going to pull the chute and we're going to make it down to the ground at some point. Did it work out? Did you die? I did. (laughs) <laughs> but it's okay. It was, I was a reference experience. I learned yeah. a lot. Uh, so I had to really trust this guy, like rest into him. And I trusted that he was going to take responsibility for my life. Now, I also had responsibility in that. Like I couldn't mess him up to do that. I had to cooperate with his instructions. I had to do everything he said. I've got to be, you know, I can't like fight against him. But let's just assume like we're talking about ourselves. When I trust myself, I'm trusting that I'm going to be responsible for myself as well and own that responsibility. And I think that's a key piece of this, that with maturity, we probably also take on more and more responsibility in life, both self-responsibility and external responsibility. And we probably, like self-trust is probably in a maturation process naturally in the normal course of our growing up experience, you know, I, I trust myself to drive a car when I was 16, probably at five, I wouldn't have, I mean, maybe I thought I could have, but I probably wouldn't have been that much self-trusting myself to drive a vehicle. So these are things that we mature into, I guess. And I think that responsibility piece is something, there's something about that that's really key here Mm -hmm. that we seem to want to avoid as humans and we want to put it onto something else, but we have to own that for our ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I I actually think going back to the perfectionism, I think perfectionism is a, it's a bypass of responsibility. We don't want to have to own bad things, even though all of us have bad things to own. So if we hyper focus on doing everything absolutely perfect, then we can convince ourselves that we don't have to own the, the things that aren't perfect that are existing right now and we can't do anything about it like it's a way to punt the ball and so I agree I think that ownership and responsibility is another way that we can trust ourselves I mean one of the best ways to understand how self-trust works is how do I trust another human being and it works the exact same way for myself would I trust you if you could never own your mistakes of course I wouldn't because I'm now going to think you lack good judgment It's because you won't learn from your mistakes. You won't learn from the things you did wrong. So why would I ever trust you in your judgment? So if I can't own my mistakes, if I can't take responsibility for mine, I'm in the same boat. I can't trust my judgment because I can't trust that I'll learn from the things that I did in the past. And I think that, I think that's why I said to begin with, fulfilling my commitments I don't trust other people who say they're going to be someplace at a certain time and then don't show up. So if I say I'm going to be at a certain place at a certain time, I'm going to hit the gym at 9 a.m. and I just don't ever do that. (laughs) And I go, tomorrow I will. (laughs) How can I trust myself? I wouldn't trust that other person. So when you're trying to figure out ways to build this characteristic, this trait, which is really important, by the way, self-trust allows us to live a full and complete life. Yeah. If we lack self-trust, we will always hesitate. We will always throttle everything because we won't know, oh, can I get through it? Can I get to the other side? How will I know? You just Sometimes you just got to pull the trigger. But if you lack self-trust, you will live a diminished life of others' approval, not a full life of your own volition. And so self-trust is crucial to be able to live a complete experience. And how does one do that? In the same way that they build trust for other people. 